First off, I can't pay my mortgage. This is what frustration looks like for federal corrections officer Locked John Siciliano. Th this is not like I did this on purpose, you know what I mean? He's making a stream of nonstop phone calls to try to hold the banks at bay. He hasn't gotten a paycheck since December 29th and doesn't expect to get one any day soon. I'm still working. I'm going to work every day and I'm, I'm you know, not getting paid. I have to work extra hours and not get paid. Siciliano has been guarding prisoners at Philadelphia's Federal Detention Center for nearly 19 years and lived through several shutdowns. But this one has gone on so long, he's about to miss a mortgage payment. The bank has told him and his wife if they miss a second one, it'll start foreclosure proceedings. Are you scared or angry? A little bit of both. A little bit of scared. I mean, scared because uh, we never miss any payments, and I'm angry at the bank because there's, they just don't, there's no give. His wife Vicky's preschool teaching job can't cover their expenses. To secure the border. They had hoped last night's speeches would bring some answers, but were left disappointed. So they didn't say anything? Nothing's really. getting done. Nothing. She blames President Trump. He blames both Democrats and Republicans. Because this is ridiculous, and this is going to go on for months. Both want to know if they can be disciplined with their finances, why can't the government? And it's almost like children, Republicans and Democrats, two children fighting against each other, tit for tat. You don't see that much difference? No, because you got a million people out of work and, you know, it's like pawns, pawns in a game. Between their house and car payments, the couple says they owe about $3,000. The amount of money right now in their bank account is $2,100. Anna Werner, CBS News, New York.